Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Saturday, March 12th. A grim milestone has been reached in the city of Philadelphia. A 28 year old man became the city's 100th homicide victim this year on Thursday night when he was shot and killed on North 53rd Street. Homicides are up 8% compared to this time last year. In Montgomery County, fire breaks out on the second floor of a building along East Airy Street in Norristown. Firefighters responded around 3 o'clock this morning and got those flames under control in just about an hour. Officials say no one was hurt, fortunately. The cause is now under investigation. And students at Temple University can drop those face masks in most campus spaces starting next week. The university is making masks optional starting on the 21st. The exceptions will be classrooms, labs, and other in person class settings. They'll also be required for shuttle buses and in healthcare facilities. Now to the eyewitness for the forecast with meteorologist Tammy Sousa. Hi, Tammy. Well, hello, Jan. We have a very busy day. We're under storm watch today, and here's what we're tracking we are tracking accumulating snow across much. Of the area, some of it quite heavy in the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos. We're also going to be tracking 35 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts later on today and this evening and through the overnight hours. And then a flash freeze, black ice everywhere from the rain and the snow that has fallen. We do have uh, warnings and advisories in place. Everything that's pink is a winter storm warning. That includes Upper Bucks, Montgomery, and Chester counties, also the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos. That's where the heaviest snow is expected, anywhere from four to six inches for the upper uh, parts of Montgomery and Bucks and Chester County. We could see six to eight inches across parts of the Lehigh Valley and into the Poconos. This advisory in purple, that is for two to four inches of snow. Much of that will melt, but nonetheless, that is the I-95 corridor on either side of it into uh, Pennsylvania and New Jersey and Delaware, and that does include the city of Philadelphia. We also have a wind advisory going into effect at 10 o'clock this morning. That is because the winds are going to pick up and we could see those dangerous 35 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts. Power outages are possible with uh, that type of wind gust activity. The rain is going to be picking up through the morning. It'll be quite steady and quite heavy at times, one to two inches across Philadelphia, South Jersey, and Delaware. We're already going to see that transition to snow through the early morning hours in the Poconos and Lehigh Valley. We see around 10 o'clock this mixing line coming through parts of Bucks, Montgomery County, and even into Philadelphia. By the time that we get to noon, that mixing is past Philadelphia. We should be looking at some wet snow falling. Still heavy rain across parts of South Jersey and the southern half of Delaware. Snow does continue on and off about 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Still snow falling. Down the shore, I think what you get is a mix, and that's about it. The snow will continue to taper off about 4, 35 o'clock today. Then the winds really howl out of the northwest, and we drop to 18 overnight in Philadelphia, 8 in Reading. Wind chills will be at or below zero at times. It's going to be fiercely cold. So 6 to 8 inches of snow possible for the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos, three to six inches possible for parts of Bucks and Montgomery County and Chester County, lower Bucks, Montgomery, Chester, and then into Philadelphia and into parts of Burlington, Camden, Gloucester, Salem County, and Newcastle County. That's where two to four inches of snow could fall, and a lot of that will stick to grassy areas. Some of it will melt. As we get down the shore in the southern half of Delaware, this is mainly a rain and snow mix. 32 is what we'll drop to in Philadelphia during the midday. That's when we transition over to snow from rain. 34 down the show, uh, shore, we will get a mix there, not expecting to have anything really sticking on the shore. And 29 in the Poconos, where heavy snow is going to fall from there into the Lehigh Valley. Tonight is going to be raw, 19 degrees, but it will feel like minus 5 to 5 above. Those winds will gust as high as 50 miles an hour. For tomorrow, it's going to be just a raw day, 36, but it'll feel like the teens. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds if you're going out to the parade to see any of our morning showcasts. Well, they're going to be bundled up, and you're going to need to bundle up as well. The rest of the week actually looks fairly pleasant in the 50s and 60s, maybe a spotty shower Wednesday night and into Thursday, which is St. Patrick's Day. Jan? Tammy, thank you. And remember, you can always get the latest news and weather headlines right here on CBSPhilly.com. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.